stealth technology was an American invention. Thanks to selecting the right research and development strategy, the states have advanced further than anyone else in this field. However, Russia and China are not sitting still either. Therefore, the list of the most undetectable fighter does not just contain American aircraft. Making a fighter undetectable is a tough problem. After all, the primary characteristic of fighter aircraft is their high speed. Significant acceleration and maneuverability are achieved using afterburners. But as soon as a fighter pilot turns on the afterburner, the aircraft immediately becomes vulnerable to enemy ground and airborne radars. The very first stealth fighter can be considered to be the American attack aircraft, the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. It has now been removed from service. However, from 1983 to 2008, the F-117 was successfully used in a number of military conflicts. The aircraft was built according to the flying wing aerodynamic scheme with V-shaped tail fins. The straight lines of the wing, the flat fuselage, and the flat trapezoidal and triangular panels all combined to excellently reflect the electromagnetic waves of the enemy radar. This airframe concept is known as faceted. F-117 Nighthawk had no external hardpoints. Its armament was located inside the fuselage. The absence of any protruding parts provided excellent stealth. Composites and radio-absorbing coating were widely used in the design of the aircraft. The proportion of metal alloys in the F-117's airframe never exceeded 10%. The upper part of the fuselage was covered with radar-absorbing materials. The bottom panels were finished with heat-absorbing ceramic tiles to reduce visibility in the IR range. F-117 Nighthawk did not have an airborne radar. Theoretically, this made it vulnerable to enemy fighter interceptors. A second disadvantage was its subsonic speed. That is to say, once detected, the F-117 had no chance of survival. However, in practice, this first American stealth fighter was able to show off its better qualities. Nighthawks flew a total of about 220,000 hours. Across all operations, seven aircraft were lost. This is just over 10% of the total number of F-117s ever built. Of these, only one was shot down by an enemy missile. The rest crashed either for technical reasons or because of pilot errors. On March 27, 1999, an F-117 was shot down by a missile from an S-125 Neva anti-aircraft missile system during the Kosovo War. Yugoslav anti-aircraft gunners noticed that Nighthawks were flying a mission along the same route at the same time. The air defense system was turned on for just a few minutes. This was enough time to locate and lock onto the target at its expected location. A rocket was launched, followed by a direct hit. Luckily, the pilot managed to survive. We have previously discussed the operation to rescue him in one of our episodes. Despite this incident, the military career of the F-117 Nighthawk can be considered a success. At one time, the F-117 became a more popular American brand than even Cadillac or Coca-Cola. Operation of the F-117 was intended to be extended until 2018. However, within the U.S. Air Force, there appeared the new F-22 Raptor multi-role fighters that outperformed the Nighthawk in every way. Experts consider the F-22 the first fully-fledged stealth fighter in the world. Firstly, the Raptor has an onboard radar with active electronically scanned array antenna. The Nighthawk had no such equipment. Secondly, the maximum speed of the F-22 with afterburner is Mach 2.25. The speed without afterburner is Mach 1.7. This is almost twice as fast as that of the F-117. The Raptor was so far ahead of its time that it was banned from export to prevent advanced technology from falling into the hands of strategic adversaries. The F-22 is the most advanced fifth-generation stealth fighter. Its abilities greatly exceed those of the previous fourth-generation fighters. Even at the dawn of its career, during training battles, the F-22 easily annihilated F-15s and F-18s with a devastating defeat ratio of 120 to 1. In real combat conditions, the Raptor has been no less effective. Recall the operation in Syria in 2015, when the Raptor single-handedly completed the tasks of several fighters at once. In one sortie, the F-22 carried out reconnaissance of ground targets, attacked enemy ground forces, and during all this time, continued to provide cover to American bombers. 
The F-22 is powered by two F-119 afterburning turbojet engines. The power plant provides 70,000 pounds of thrust. This is 40% more than the F-15 Eagle. A key feature of the F-22 is its low radar visibility. The V-shaped butterfly of the tail is less detectable to radar. The design of the nozzle results in a wider torch. Cold air from the air intakes is mixed into the jet stream. These measures reduce visibility in the infrared range. That is why the Raptor remains unobtrusive whilst on afterburn and at supersonic speeds. The surfaces of the fighter are covered with radar-absorbing materials and special paint. Even the backs of the pilot seats are specially designed to scatter radar radiation. The aircraft's shapes were modeled and calculated using the Cray supercomputer. The F-22 Raptor was originally supposed to replace the F-15 Eagle. There were plans to build 750 aircraft, but the fighter turned out to be very expensive to manufacture and operate, so this target number was reduced. By the end of its production in 2011, 187 aircraft had been assembled. In addition to its high price tag, the Raptor has another drawback. It doesn't come in a carrier-based version. It is known that naval aviation, together with aircraft-carrying cruisers, form the foundation of U.S. national security. For this reason, another stealth fighter, the F-35 Lightning II, came into being. The development of the F-35 began in the mid-1990s. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, which developed the fifth-generation Raptor fighter, took on the task. The F-35 used many of the technological solutions worked out for the F-22. The design and construction provide a reflective surface ratio of about one square foot. This is a record-breaking figure among stealth fighters. The designers plan to create not just an advanced stealth fighter, but a whole family of aircraft, including conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL, ground fighters for the U.S. Air Force, short takeoff and vertical landing, STOVL fighter aircraft for the U.S. Marine Corps and the U.K.'s Royal Navy, carrier-based fighters, CV, for the needs of the U.S. Navy. Each version has its own technical specificities. A range of unified assemblies have reduced costs and accelerated development. However, the attempt to use the same design solution for, in fact, three unique aircraft was not possible without some compromises. For example, the F-35 has less maneuverability than the Raptor. Its indicator score of 8.4 points out of 10 is not considered to be outstanding. The f 22 score here is 9.5. The speed performance of the fighter is also not up to par because the Lightning II power plant consists of just a single engine. Therefore, the F-35 suffers from a critical lack of maneuverability. It cannot turn or climb fast enough to evade enemy fire. These are the remarks of some military analysts. But what does prior combat experience show? The Israeli Air Force bombed targets in Syria and the U.S. Air Force attacked ground targets in Afghanistan. But in truth, in both cases, there was no opposition from enemy fighter aircraft. Therefore, the real capabilities of the F-35 to withstand other fighters are difficult to assess. However, the Lightning II is primarily a stealth fighter bomber, and it was created not for air duels, but for the effective destruction of enemy manpower and equipment. There are many breakthrough technologies implemented here. The avionics operate on the principle of man-machine. Airborne radar allows you to conduct electronic intelligence and simultaneously detects ground, sea, and air targets. Particularly noteworthy is the helmet, which allows the pilot to aim missiles by using his eyes. Detection of ground objects with an accuracy of up to 12 inches allows you to classify military equipment. We have already said that it is not only the United States that has been working on stealth for their fighters. The Russian Aerospace Forces considers its Su-57 to be the most undetectable fighter. According to NATO codification, it is listed under the name Felon. The Russian fighter is noticeably larger than the Lightning II. In accordance with tradition, the Su-57 has phenomenal speed and maneuverability. This is a family trait shared by all class Sukhoi aircraft. The thrust-to-weight ratio of the Su-57 is 0.97. This is 50% greater than that of the F-35. Most of the characteristics of the Su-57 are classified. The Russians consider their fighter a direct competitor to the F-22. However, unlike the American aircraft, the Russian Su-57 so far only exists in a single copy. Combat use of Su has, for obvious reasons, also not yet taken place. 
it was seen in the skies over Syria, but due to fears of losing their only fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57 did not participate in combat operations. The main disadvantage of the Su-57 is considered to be its insufficient stealth. This is due to the fact that the well-known Su-27 served as the basis for the newer aircraft. The Su-57 is the best commodity of the Russian Aerospace Forces, but it is still a long way from the stealth performance of the F-22 or F-35. The reason for this is that Russia has no experience in stealth technology, and with the current sanctions associated with its aggression against Ukraine, the appearance of modern materials and electronics is unlikely. The career of the fifth-generation Chinese fighter Chengdu J-20 is developing with much greater success. According to experts, the Chinese cloned a number of the solutions used in the F-22. There are also many elements borrowed or outright copied from the prototype of the Russian MiG-144. However, as is typical, this imitation is inferior to the original. The J-20 comes equipped with Russian AL-31F engines, which are installed on the S-27 and its offshoots. This means that the Chinese aircraft can be expected to have good speed and maneuverability. But what about its stealth? The degree of invisibility is not entirely known. Apart from Russia, there is no one sharing technology with the Chinese. However, cooperation between Russia and China in this field has been curtailed. It remains an open question whether the J-20 has a radar with an active electronically scanned array antenna. This is a main feature of fifth-generation fighters. Most likely, the Chinese are testing new technologies on the J-20 in order to get closer to creating a new level of machine. The Shenyang J-31 has already been announced. The novel prototype looks to be even more impressive, at least superficially. Its similarities with the F-22 are even greater. However, it's not just appearance which determines membership of an aircraft to the fifth generation of fighters. The internals and stealth technologies are critical. Stealth is achieved through the use of sophisticated design philosophy. This philosophy includes thermal, sonic, and other fighter characteristics that reduce the ability of enemy sensor to detect, track, or attack stealth aircraft. Fortunately, in this area, the states remain in a league of its own.